What's up, Aries? How you guys doing this August? We're here for your, um, how do they feel about you first half of August reading. So we're going to find out how your significant other situationship, relationship, marriage, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever feels about you. You just think of a person right now, and that's who we're going to concentrate on. Just remember, this won't resonate with everyone. This is for any Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And just take the parts that fit you and the rest throw it away. But don't make it fit if it's a sad story. Okay? Hopefully, it'll be a great story and it fits with everybody. I've actually had good readings tonight, so I was pretty happy. Remember, time's fluid, too, so it doesn't matter when you watch this. I mean, if you hit it, like, seriously on September 15th, it doesn't mean it's, like, expired, like, the old milk. It will still resonate with you, because that's when spirit wants you to see it. Don't worry. And everyone has feminine and masculine energy. So if I say he, she, you know, king, queen, knight, whatever, it doesn't matter. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I'm giving out free readings every Friday. And also at the end of the month, I'm giving out free tarot decks. So um, just, you know, push the subscribe button and comment that you subscribed and you're in the drawing indefinitely unless you win. Then I take you out so you can't win twice. But I'm uh, really enjoying it. I've done two free readings so far, and they've been a blast. I do about an hour because I do just the same thing I do for my live clients. Because right now, all my live clients, I'm doing interactively right now. Instead of having in my little tarot room. <laughs> so, But I have really enjoyed you guys. And thank you so much for everyone that watches the video the whole way through. And stay till the end because I have more surprises in store. So... You know, watch the video and support the new girl. Don't leave me alone at the lunch table. All right, so when I was doing my little pre-shuffle for you, all right, Spirit just said to cut again, so you got to cut again. Yes, I got my little spirit like everyone else does. It's called intuition, but we call it spirit. Okay, sorry, I got to move this, and I got to cross this out. I actually write things down when I am doing my pre-meditation for you guys, and I just kept feeling like, um, you feel a little bit of loss right now, but I feel like you feel a little bit of loss. I'm not so sure what your partner feels. Um, I wasn't, I don't know if it was there or your energy, but I feel like it was actually a little bit of mix of both of you guys. Um, I know I just said I didn't feel their energy, but I messed up my words like Saturn's and Capricorn right now. And I'm a Capricorn, so I will be messing up on my words right now, but just try to follow me. Okay, I promise. Let's pull some cards and see what's going on with your person of interest. All right, we got three of pentacles, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo, energy. They want to work on it. That's working on it, you know. And then you have the eight of pentacles after that. When we're talking about the eight of pentacles, I mean, again, it's working at it. Like, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Okay, then we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So even though this usually needs a break and it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, like even if you're taking a little break, I don't think neither of you want to. And this person definitely doesn't want to because it's in the reverse. So if you guys got in a fight and you got a little snippy at your person because you know you're a little fire sign, you get a little fiery sometimes, um, and then kind of not admit that you're a little fiery this person doesn't want to be on break with you it's in the reverse okay then the six of pentacles capcorn taurus virgo energy this is being generous this is you know i'm sorry if i look up a little bit my halo lights right about that and it like blinds me this is just being generous and like wanting to give somebody something and being there for someone it can also mean like there's children and you know, this person would be good for your children and would care about them, honestly. And then we have the Six of Cups. Again, more children. Okay, this is definitely for people with children. Okay, so we're talking about cups. We're like Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But definitely, this is a lot of love here. Like, Six of Cups is a lot of love. It can also mean like a past person, a person from your past. So you might be thinking of someone from your past right now. But this is what this person would do for you. Like, this is good. This is good stuff right now. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. 
Capricorn, <laughs> Taurus, uh, Virgo energy again. But this person, and he might be a little slow or she may be a little slow. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. But they are going to bring you your pentacle. It just might take a while. I want to crush at the halo light, but you kind of need them when you're on a thing like this. I'd use my son's tablet tonight because my phone, like, is full, and I don't even know how to read stuff, so it's horrible. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. Your guys' is, is, uh, like reading is making me happy. And for our last card here, we have the hangman, which is stagnation. And the hangman, yes, and we already know this person is slow, because they're probably chilling back thinking about things, but everything they're thinking about is good. Hello, Three of Pentacles, wanting to work at it. Eight of Pentacles, this guy's working on his Pentacles for you. This guy's working on his Pentacles for you. Capricorn Taurus, Libra Energy, or uh, Virgo Energy. The Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy is in the reverse. They don't want this break. They feel like they were forced into this break, I feel like. Six of Pentacles. Look at that. Look how generous that little big guy is. Just given to all those kids and those people. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Then you got the Six of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You got beautiful kids. And this can also mean a past person. This can mean a person from your past. It could even be someone that you guys maybe separated from like a couple weeks or a couple months ago. And I'm almost feeling like that is where the Knight of Pentacles is coming in. And this the Hangman is coming in. Because they don't know if you even want them back. Is that what happened? Like, did you guys have a fight and you may have said something a little bit fiery? Because you are a fire sign. You say fiery stuff. I know for some reason I've only dated fire signs. Sagittarius is really, it's really weird. But I do. But you guys, you guys can be like that. And I'm here to be honest with you. I still want you to subscribe. Don't get me wrong. But if I'm not going to give you good advice, then what good am I? I really feel like this person, like you may have misstepped. And they feel like you don't want them. But look at all the things they would do for you if they knew you did. They were they felt forced into submission almost. Like forced back. But they are trying to make their way back slowly. They're just confused on how to do it. This is kind of like being stagnant. Like planning how to unhang yourself. Like, a, you know, they're upside down. They're just kind of chilling there. But they're like... How do I do this? How do I how do I do this and not look desperate or stupid? Because people have so many dumb rules nowadays when it comes to relationships. I'm in my 40s. So the way younger people do relationships now can be a little difficult. And even me dating, you know, I'm newly divorced and it's really tough on me. And I have noticed that it, it, the dating game has completely changed because everyone plays so many games. So just make sure you're not playing games with this person because this person wants to give you their pentacles and take care of you. This is someone that would like, seriously, like three in the morning, like if you want to diet Pepsi and there's none in the house, they will go to the gas station and get it for you. Like that's what I'm seeing here. Like this person would be like, oh, all right, baby, I'll be back in three minutes. I got you. And you're like, no, baby, go back to bed. I'm fine. I'm good. I'll just drink some water out of the tap. And they're like, no, baby, just lay down. I'm going to go get you your diet Pepsi. That's, that's what I see this person doing for you. Seriously. But you got to give them that opportunity and you got to be, you got to be nice to them. And that's the way they will treat you. Like that's the way they're going to treat you or whatever drink you want. You know, I mean, past 2 a.m. They can't sell liquor, but you want to you want a diet Pepsi or a Dr Pepper or whatever? No, I don't get paid for saying these words or these brands. <laughs> Seriously, this person like would do anything for you, and you're not seeing it. Don't be blind. Don't be blind to love. 
Like, and don't play games. Don't, you know what? I want you to like talk to your grandma about how she was with your grandpa or someone old. And I want you to roll old school with this person because all the pentacles they're fixing up for you and the way they would be with children. Like, I really feel like this person would be more comfortable in an old school relationship. That's just what I'm feeling. That's what I'm rolling with right now. But if you want to die of Pepsi at 3.30 in the morning, you're going to have it. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever gotten these two cards next to each other in 20 years. And I've been doing tarot for over 20 years. I started when I was 19 at keg parties. I studied. Don't get me wrong. I did a good job. But I start, I, that's how I started doing tarot cards was to pay for my beer money and my like fun money like and buy clothes but you know what here I am now I'm still doing it all right let's get you some uh romance angels don't forget to subscribe because I just gave you the person of your dreams baby go back to sleep you need Taco Bell while I'm out Taco Bell is 24 hours so is McDonald's wait which, which you want to need anything else while I'm out I am your person. That's who this person is. You just have to slowly get to know them that way. But when you get to know them, that's the person you're going to get. All right, playfulness. To rapture romance, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine with fun. Okay, so I want you to be totally romantic with this person, okay? Okay. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay? So maybe this really is a person from your past that maybe you broke up with that you want back. You want your Diet Pepsi at 3 in the morning again. Because this, this is either loving your children or a past person or nostalgia. So I, I think you really want this person back. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, so you already got it. And this is a good one. I'd marry this person. Well, they'd have to be a dude because that's how I roll. But if you roll, I don't care how you roll. You can roll any way you want. This was a great reading. Please subscribe. Um... I'm excited to come back in mid-month and see how you guys are doing with your person. I just really want you to know that they felt a little forced out. Don't do that. No, 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 no. You you be nice to this person because in five, it's going to take a few years for them to get up out of bed and go to the gas station at 3 in the morning. Who knows? They may do it now. And you don't even got to be pregnant for them to do it. They will do this for you for the rest of your life, but you got to treat them right. You got to treat a person like this, right? This is a good person here. You know, all right. Anyways, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and then we can go even deeper into this. You know, I can give you all the dirty details and we can figure out what's going on here because I do, like I said, I give live client readings this way so we can do interactive or I can just videotape something for you. But we can go live if you want. I'm all down for it. I'm a newbie. So give the new girl a chance. Push subscribe. I am Stella. Thank you so much for watching my video and good luck with this person. That's all I got to say. You got a good one. Bye.